Hello, uh, in this video I will be demonstrating how we can use ModelSim uh, to compile and run a test bench code on a sample code. To be specific, I will be testing the NOT gate entity using a test bench code. So in ModelSim, I will first start by creating uh, a new project. So we'll click Jumpstart, then click Create a Project. I will browse to the same folder where I have my NOT gate file. Uh, in my case, it's in the desktop in a folder called not gate. So I will be selecting that folder. Then I will click OK. For the project name, I will choose not gate and then I will click OK. I already have my not gate file, so I'll be adding it by clicking add existing file, browse, select uh, the not gate file and then click open, click OK. Next, I will click create new file where I'm going to paste my test bench code. This new file is going to have the same data type. It will be that uh, it will have the same file type, which is uh, VHDL, but I need to give it a name. Ensure that this name matches the entity name for your test bench. In my case, it's called not underscore gate underscore TB. Then I will click OK, close. Next, I will open the test bench uh, code file and uh, paste the test bench code in it and then click save. In the project tab, we will right click here and then choose compile, compile all to ensure that there are no errors in our entity and uh, in our not gate file as well as the test bench code. We notice that both files compiled successfully. Uh, next, we will be going to the library tab. Normally, we would expand the work library and then we will double click the entity we want to test. We would force or clock the inputs. But in this case, our test bench code already takes care of assigning values to the input. So instead of double clicking on the not gate entity or the not gate file, we'll be double clicking on the test bench code. So here I will uh, double click not gate tb. This will open the waveform for me or the objects folder first, uh, the object window. In the object window, I'll be selecting all the signals a in and a out, uh, a in and y out. So control a to select all signals and then control w or right to click add wave to add these signals to the waveform. Now Without having to press uh, or without having to force or clock the inputs, all I have to do is simply press F9 from the keyboard or on the keyboard uh, to run the test. So we'll be pressing F9 until we see the output in here. We can tell now that initially the input A in is low and y out is 1, which means it's high. And this is true for our not gate code or for the not gate. We will press F9 again to run further test or to continue the test bench. We notice now that the output is low while the input is high, and this is true for the not gate. We can zoom in by pressing on the plus uh, button on the keyboard and then take screenshots as needed. Notice that in our test bench code, we wrote report testing the not gate when a equals zero. And we can see this in the output, testing the not gate when a equals zero. You can also copy the report part and then paste it here where we changed a in to one. So the report simply allows you to print out some text in the transcript window. This can be useful in some cases, but in our case for the not gate code, maybe the waveform output is sufficient. 